Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, the uh, Time Rider over at We Little Cars is having an anniversary. I believe this is number four. And every year he celebrates by doing a record build. <clears throat> and we are going to join with him and help him celebrate by taking this Matchbox Lesney number 13 Dodge Rec Truck and we're going to tear it down and we're going to do a restoration on it, of course. So uh, it's a pretty nice, clean little vehicle, very play warm. It's got the little BP uh, decals are missing, as is the hook. The uh, beacon looks like somebody played, played hard with that. But anyway, this is the perfect opportunity to uh, help him celebrate and also restore my little truck. So, let's go ahead and get this thing blown apart and get the body and all the metal parts in the stripper, clean everything else up, and we will get this build going. Everybody, please stay tuned. Okay, we've got our little Dodge wreck truck all blown apart. And uh, other than being very play worn and got some boogers inside here, <laughs> it's in pretty good shape. We've already drilled it and tapped it and uh, get, get Charlotte a new home here. Ugh. But uh, it's a sound little vehicle. Interesting thing on this is uh, what I think are the hydraulic rams on here. This side is a little bent, and uh, that should be straight. Over on the other side, though, it's missing, and from the paint on it, it appears it's been missing since it was brand new. Now, I got a couple of these, and they are both missing one side of that. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, that one's straight, that one's missing. So, it's uh, kind of a, a, a mystery, but uh, even so, it uh, could be a casting flaw, but anyway. Here's the glass, it's in pretty good shape. It's got a little paint on it from what I can tell, and it's very dirty. It, it doesn't appear to be overpainted, but uh, I don't know where the paint came from. Uh, strange little uh, mystery. It's got a little bit of crack in the top of it, but it won't show through once we get it cleaned up and uh, back in the truck. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to do a little repair on that. And our beacon, a little bit worn. Clean that up. And our base slash bed we'll uh, there's more of that yellow paint <laughs> so uh, maybe the paint wasn't thoroughly dry when they assembled it at the factory I'm not sure got our wheels in pretty good shape uh, if we get the wheels cleaned up and uh, get the axles cleaned up I ground off the small end just enough to get the wheel off that way, uh, when I put it back together, it'll mushroom on really well uh, without a lot of effort. Uh, there's a little bend in each of those. We'll have to straighten that out. But everything should clean up really nice. So let's go ahead and get the casting in the stripper and the base. Get the rest of it cleaned up. And we will get this build moving. Everybody. Please stay tuned.
And before we get to the reveal, let's take a minute and look back at where we started with this little matchbox Lesney number 13 wreck truck. Let's go ahead and get to the reveal and we will see how this little project came out. Everybody, stay tuned. All right. We have our little Matchbox Lesney number 13 Dodge Wreck Truck. All finished, redone, repainted, cleaned up, and uh, ready for uh, my display shelf. First of all, I'd like to thank Time Rider for the opportunity via his anniversary build to uh, Go ahead and tear this thing down and uh, redo it. It's been on my planning docket for quite a while and sits here on the bench and stares at me all the time. <laughs> so finally uh, got it all torn down, painted it a uh, beautiful Rust-Oleum Sunburst Yellow, uh, painted the bed in the Rust-Oleum JD Green, and uh, Went ahead and uh, cleaned up and, and freshened up the tires with some Rust-Oleum semi-gloss black. Of course, we uh, cleaned up and took the rust off the axles and uh, put that all back together. Also bought an aftermarket hook to go on the back of it. Uh, this one was missing. And then went ahead and cleaned up the glass and the beacon on top. Uh, repainted the beacon and dipped the glass and the beacon both in a little bit of uh, pledge to make them shine. The decals I made using Adobe Illustrator and pretty happy with how those came out. Then went over the whole thing with a couple of coats of Minwax Clear. Well once again happy anniversary Time Rider. Uh, I believe this is number four. Hope to have many, many more to celebrate and keep cranking out the beautiful work that you do. Well, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are not a subscriber, please do. And be sure you ring the bell and uh, for or to uh, get notified when you subscribe for future builds. And uh, be sure you share, share with your friends. Got a lot of builds coming. So uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, I will see you in the next.